Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Weekly Africa News. I am Joseph Sakala, starting with South Africa. In South Africa, a mob just attacked and murdered a Zimbabwe nation, claiming that the man was an illegal immigrant and a criminal. Look, the, the family is distraught, uh, naturally, and um, they are beyond themselves. Uh, the manner in which the husband died is the most gruesome, and uh, uh, we feel it as well. Um, we are not in a position to disclose uh, where she is going, for obvious reasons. Um, but, uh, you see, we need to locate the tragedy uh, for what it is. There's a group of vigilantes going around the townships asking for illegal immigrants or to prove your documentation whether you are legal in a country or illegal. Now, the president of South Africa came out to condemn the actions of this vigilante group called Operation Dudula. The minister of police also, Mr. Begitsele, said this Operation Dudula group doesn't have authority to be going around people's homes and demanding for documentation. The argument and the basis of this vigilante group, they are saying that they are doing the work for the government because the government has failed to do its work. Now, when you are out there, people, be careful. If you are not a South African citizen, please move around with your documentations, especially in Houtenye province, Johannesburg. The police and the immigration, they are all over the streets, all over the roads, demanding and asking for identification. So please move around with your identification in order for you to be safe. And please avoid going to the townships in order for you to avoid meeting with these vigilante groups called Operation Dudula and other criminal elements. Be safe, people. Be vigilant. Zambia. President Pokagame of Rwanda visited the country of Zambia. The two presidents, Mr. Pokagame and President Akainde Ichilema of Zambia, had a meeting and discussed how the countries would work together to better and strengthen the relationship between an East African country and one of the Southern African countries. President Pokagame was amazed when he visited the Victoria Falls. He was told of how his natural wonder is a tourist attraction and was taken to other natural wonders in the country. He visited also national parks in the country and he beheld the beauty of the country of Zambia. President Kagame was wowed at how vast Zambia has a, a vast wealth of natural resources, vegetation and nature. He said Zambia is one of the countries which has got a potential to grow as a powerhouse of the continent. And he says he is very eager to be working closer with the Zambian government. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, it's a unique experience to be here in Victoria Falls and uh, interacting with animals in the Mekon It's uh, not a, a thing you find easy to do uh, every other time. So for me, it's a first experience to interact with the cheetah and uh, be in the company of lions, even if from a uh, small distance. But this is a uh, something that uh, I think the world needs to know and people need to come here and experience and uh, I'm sure uh, it's a good job being done here and I want to thank everyone who keeps it uh, running the way uh, it is. And I think more could be done, meaning in terms of uh, attracting uh, visitors, mm. letting people know the uniqueness of this place and uh, what is being offered. So for me it's uh, an eye opener and uh, also an invitation to not only come back but to encourage others from Rwanda and uh, mm. beyond to come here and feel the way I felt. I was very happy to 
be here so and I thank you. The Umami for you know uh, taking care of this place and the <coughs> wonderful animals that are here. So we'll be back. Thank, thank you. you very much. Knowing that previously he had a scuffle with a booted out government of former president Ediga Changwalungu when the government of Rwanda arrested some rebels who claimed that they were being sponsored by the former head of state of Zambia, President Ediga Chagwalungu, who literally refused and denied the claims. The two presidents have signed a Beretro agreement and a memorandum of understanding that the Zambians, we must all actively marketing this asset and other attractions. Rwanda has done well. Um, uh, we will see when we get there, but we've read a lot with the mountain gorillas. And uh, they're doing quite a lot. I think those are the learning points. And some of the MOUs, memorandum, uh, memoranda of understanding we've signed, is to collaborate, uh, to share experiences, what Rwanda is doing, what we have here, what we may um, support them. But the two countries won't need visas to visit each other and they need to strengthen ties in order for them to see the benefits and the productivity of the countries when they start working together in a free trade market between Zambia and Rwanda. Madagascar. In response to the war between Ukraine and Russia, the government of Madagascar, they have frozen prices on commodities such as millimil, rice, oil, gas, cement, and sugar, and flour. And the prices which are imported, they will be cut in half in order to reduce the hiking prices so that people could afford the commodity prices. The COVID-19 crisis and now the war in Ukraine poses a great threat to the country's economic standings. The Supreme Court in Kenya has shut down the constitutional review process initiated by the President Uhuru Kenyatta, ending a heated political controversy in the country four months before the general elections. The decision has ended President Kenyatta's plans. It has been disallowed. The decision has ended President Uhuru Kenyatta's plans. The president cannot initiate constitutional amendments or changes through the popular initiative under Article 257 of the Constitution. Had it been allowed, the revision was going to allow for the Republic of Kenya to have a prime minister and two deputies. Burkina Faso led military government said in a statement on Wednesday that the former head of state who was removed by a political coup will return back to his will return back to his home safely after being on house arrest by the military junta. The military junta has also advised people not to listen to mainstream media which claims that the former head of state was being tortured and mistreated while under custody of the military junta. The military junta said he will return to his home but still he is going to be under the protection of them even after being released on house arrest. This has been the Saturday News with Joseph Sakala. Please be kind enough to support this channel by liking, subscribing, turning on the bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much for watching.